Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Liatives. In this video, we'll be talking about three new string methods in PHP 8, which are str contains, str starts with, and str ends with. We'll be looking at all these step by step. So first of all, let us look into str underscore contains. This str contains will look into this first string and it will check whether this second parameter is contained in this string or not. So let's say llo and if we run this code then you can see here we are getting one so it means that str contents is returning true for this so whenever it is a true it will return one and whenever it is a false it will return zero now if we say w over here so wllo so it doesn't contain wllo now let's see what happens so it is returning zero which means false now there is one case that you need to understand here. So if we pass here empty string, then what will it return? So let's see that. You can see here it is returning true. So if we pass here empty string, then whatever string there is here, it will always pass true. Let me also remove this empty space over here and let me run it one more time. So you can see here it is again returning true which means that whenever we check the empty string in the str contents method in any of the strings, then it will always return true. After this, there is another method named as str starts with. So now the first parameter is the string where we want to do the comparison and the second string is the one that we want to check. And if it's true, it will return one and it will return zero if it is false. So now let's see this in action. You can see here it is returning one, which means that the string starts with H-E-L-L hell and it is returning true. Now let's say A, B, C here. And if I run this, now it must return false. Now again, if we pass here empty string, then let us see what it will return here. So you can see here it is returning true. So whenever we pass empty string here in this str starts with method, so it will always return true we need to keep that in mind. Now after this, there is another helper method known as str int with. So it is similar to that of the str starts with, but it will check the end of the string. So in this hello, we are looking at LLO and it must return true now. You can see here it is returning true over here. Now if I say here x, y, z, then the, and we can see here this string does not end with x, y, z. So this must return false here or zero. You can see here it is returning zero here. Now if we pass empty string over here, now let's see what the result is. So you can see here again the result is true over here. So whenever we pass empty string in all of these methods, they will always return true. So when using these methods, we have to always keep in mind this thing. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.